How's it going, Mullenites? Got my uh, little son snoring away in the back there. Um, we are in free fall mode, it, it would seem. Uh, losing another 10% on the stock today. Uh, it means we've actually lost 30% uh, in stock value over the past week. So it is a sign that, you know, there is really negative sentiment around the stock. And keep in mind that we still had two days which were technically green this week. It was only three down days, but collectively we were down 30%. Uh, and that means we've, you know, the, the market cap's fallen to 17 million. Uh, not looking good. Any sort of chance of uh, equity raising is looking less and less likely. And if there were to be one, I'm guessing it's going to be really unfavorable terms for Mullen's just going to further savage the company. Uh, it's kind of like a watching how low can the value of a stock really go. Like when you factor in like all these reverse stock splits we've had in the past, this this stock has fallen from technically something like a thousand dollars to like two cents. It's that's that's just in the scheme of things what's happened uh, when you value it out. It is I've, it is ridiculous the erosion of stock value that we've seen. Anyway. Um, well, I found it really interesting that in the comments there are a few people out there sort of saying they're waiting for it to go down further than they're going to buy in. These are obviously the very YOLO sort of plays. I've had a couple of people saying $2 is their point. I've heard some saying a dollar. Uh, if you're thinking of <laughs> jumping in and seeing if you get like some dramatic bounce, what's your entry price? What are you looking for? Are you $2? Are you $1? Are you just steering clear altogether? Um, you know, I've, I've kind of made it, I've been pretty transparent that I've, um, put in a bit of money in this stock not a lot only a small amount and it was very much kind of a sort of gambling sort of play and i was kind of very much prepared to watch this sort of thing happen a full erosion of my value um people were kind of saying uh you should just take your money out someone said this comment the other day you should just take your money out and buy your son a nice pair of shoes and i kind of thought to myself i'll probably still have to wait to the black friday sales given how much i've lost on mullen automotive to even be able to afford some shoes for him with the money uh just a joke, I could actually buy his shoes with the money I'd take out of it. But, you know, it was money I was prepared to lose. Um, but, you know, I, I, I guess I'm a bit of a, a follower of the crowds. I sometimes think, like, well, maybe maybe if the stock does get to a dollar, maybe I'll just chuck another little bit of money in just to see if it uh, bounces back up. You know, if, it, if I put a dollar in and it goes to, let's say, like $3 or something like that, it's a big jump. I might actually <laughs> recapture a bit of my loss. But... I guess one of the, the things you kind of want to avoid with the market is you don't want to be someone who's revenge trading, trying to get your money back out of a stock. It's probably healthy just to cut your losses, but, you know, um, each to their own. You know, it's your money, you make your own decisions. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that or not. I'll, I'll just have to see what's going on. Yeah, anyway, um, I might check back in with you guys later this weekend just to see, um, give some thoughts on, where things are heading next week. I'm guessing we're all thinking the same, down. Uh, there could be some news from Mullen come out about uh, trying to shore up finances somehow. I've sort of said yesterday, I thought that maybe they might try to sell one of the engineering centers that they have. Um, I think the two being located, one in Jackson and one in Irvine. And, you know, selling one of those could be a way that they can free up the uh, their cash flow. Uh, well, not the cash flow, but just give them enough cash on their balance sheet to be able to pay the bills and keep the lights on for at least another few more months. Uh, yeah, anyway, it's pretty dire. Share your thoughts. Always love to hear from you guys. I uh, hope you're all doing well. Till next time, may the markets trade in your favour. Cheers. Say goodnight, mate. Can you hear him snoring? Terrible company. Cheers.